Hello and welcome back to the channel. In today's review, we're going to be taking a look at the brand new DNA Designs DK06 Studio Series Grimlock Upgrade Kit. Starting off with the front of the packaging, as you can see it says DNA Designs, we've got a very nice graphic of Grimlock Studio Series Grimlock DK06. The side of the packaging just states that it is an upgrade kit. On the back of the packaging, it showcases the entire contents of the package as well as the dinosaur and robot mode when all these extra parts are equipped upon the figure. And the other side of the packaging just states that it is an upgrade kit. The upgrade kit does come with a very nice instruction manual. It's extremely informative and shows you how to exchange all of the parts and how to utilize them in both the dinosaur mode as well as the robot mode. Here you've got all of the ways to equip the weaponry in the robot mode. And on the back of the pamphlet, you've got some nice instructions detailing how to equip the tongue, the towel, the weapons, and how to equip this entire piece around Grimlock's neck. It also shows you the different weapon storages in the robot mode, but we'll discuss that when we get into the robot mode. And here we have Studio Series Grimlock with the DNA Designs Upgrade Kit. Now, first of all, the only pieces that you are left over from the Studio Series Grimlock is his forearm with the mace attachment that transforms into the tail and the fist that is incorporated on the left arm. They are extremely easy to remove. You simply just put, pop them off their mushroom pegs. And in this instance, I did have to remove a piece that we'll discuss in the robot mode, but these are the only additional accessories that you are left over from the original figure. Starting off with some of the differences that this upgrade kit has on Grimlock. First off, we have his tongue. Now this is something that isn't actually included on the back of the packaging as part of the contents. It is actually the additional bonus accessory if you ordered the first batch. As you can see, it is molded fairly nicely. It's got a few ridges in it and is definitely the sculpt of how Grimlock's tongue does appear in the movie. It is on a ball joint, so therefore it doesn't render the articulation of the jaw useless whatsoever. The second additional piece is these pieces on either side of his neck. They do thicken out this neck section a heck of a lot more than just this piece did when it wasn't upgraded. It is just held on by a small rod, which is removable so by simply just grabbing either side and really giving them a tug and they will just separate just like this. As you can see, this just slides through the fist of Grimlock and they clip together via this peg and that's how you secure the connection for Grimlock's neck. Next off we have the entire brand new towel of Grimlock Now this is definitely a massive improvement over what we originally got. It is articulated, it does have a few different joints so that you can maneuver it around. It's not overly articulated, I do think they could have perhaps incorporated more joints into this rigid section but it is still a massive improvement nonetheless. Now in terms of weapon storage as you can see I do actually have the mace stored on this section here which ends up underneath the flap of Grimlock's skirt it is just held in by this port here which tabs onto the inside of one of his faux dinosaur heads. This is too a very nicely sculpted and extremely well painted piece as you can see it is a lot more mace like than the original version just quickly bringing in the original version. It is painted unlike this version and actually does feel as if though it is a mace rather than this which has all the edges smoothed out. It is articulated on a variety of different hinge joints so that when you're in the robot mode you can really position it around as if though Grimlock is swinging it, but we'll discuss how to incorporate that into the robot mode later on in the video. Turning the figure around, here we've got the remaining parts of the staff. You can see they are pegged in two different sections. So the staff is attached like this, and you simply just pull that off attach them together and put them into the other side of Grimlock's faux dinosaur head. In order to turn this into a mace, you simply just take this section here, give it a really nice push and it will snap into place just like so. You're then going to want to take this. Now I shouldn't have actually closed this because you are going to want to open it. It does just open up like that. And these tabs here will just slide into these slots on either side. So just push them in, tab them in. And then there are some hinge joints here that you just fold out on either side. And there you have got Grimlock's completed mace for his robot mode. A really essential addition to the movie burst Grimlock. As in the movie, we did see him utilize the mace in a variety of different scenes. So there you have it. That is the main incorporation of the DNA designs kit in the dinosaur mode. I definitely think that this mode is definitely the mode that benefits the most. That just does completely eliminate this entire skinny piece here. And the towel was definitely something that they really needed to do. In order to remove the towel, it is just held on by a peg that plugs into the hands. So just give it a swivel and it will just come off like that as you can see it's just held in by this post that pegs into the hand so this is essentially what the dinosaur mode looks like without any of the additional parts minus the tongue and the new arm as you can see is more or less the exact same figure that we had prior to the kit but overall i definitely do think that the kit does drastically enhance the dinosaur mode as the tail was definitely something that i was extremely disappointed with on the original base figure that just about covers it for the dinosaur mode. I'm now going to take this into the robot mode and show how you actually incorporate the new parts into the transformation. Now here I've near enough got the robot mode fully transformed. I just want to show you how you integrate the tongue into the robot mode. So first off, you just want to swivel this around just like so. Lock that piece in. It's all very similar to how it originally was. Untab 
this section like that. And now with the tongue, you're going to want to lift it up, rotate it around and just flop it up just like so, so that when you go to tabbing it in, you can just push it down and it just essentially rests on the back of Grimlock's arm. So it doesn't obstruct the transformation nor the articulation whatsoever. As you can see you still have all the same range of motion as you previously did. And there we have Grimlock in his robot mode. Now here is the base robot mode without any of the accessories on. As you can see, I do have the new arm. As I stated earlier, this one simply just slid right off the mushroom peg and all I had to do was remove this piece from here which was extremely easy as it was just on a slight friction joint. The hands too are just on a mushroom peg so you simply just pop them off and pop the new ones on and it definitely does add to the figure's overall look. I definitely do prefer having just a normal arm rather than having the mace and if you really want to you can actually take the mace from this section here just simply slide it off just like that and there is a post that will just peg into the hand so if you still want to have Grimlock having his mace, you still can have that feature. However, I just like that you do have the option to do so. Now, very quickly showing you the mace weapon, as you can see, it is gigantic. It is almost as big as the figure himself, which the mace really was in the movie. As you can see, it is detailed fairly nicely. It's got a lot of sculpted and detailing. And I do really like the paint applications on the top of the mace section. It's all rigid and that kind of rusted metal look really does show throughout and does definitely color match this original figure fairly nicely. It can be put into either of Grimlock's hands in order to do so. You simply just open the palm like so. And there is some slots on the top of the mace here that will just tab into a very small tab on the top of the index finger there. So you just want to position the elbow just like so and try to get that in. And it will hold it in like that. However, it's not a great connection. So you're going to want to just squeeze it in. It doesn't always work. Squeeze that in. And as you can see there, there is like a rounded section on the thumb that will actually peg into this piece here on the palm just to secure the connection, just like so. And there we have Grimlock with his mace weapon equipped and he looks fantastic. This is definitely an accessory that we should have got when the figure was originally released. And it really does just complete the overall look of this figure. As, as I stated earlier, this was a weapon that Grimlock used throughout the entire third act of the Age of Extinction movie. It is held in fairly securely, as you can see, it's not going anywhere. And I'm really shaking the figure around. So it is held in there really good. And due to the swivel joint on the arm, you can probably get this figure in a variety of different poses. So it is a really, really nice accessory. The second weapon that he comes with, which he too used in the movie, is this mace. This is very reminiscent of the MP36 Megatron. However, it has a lot more hinge joints than that figure. It is held in in the exact same way as the mace as you can see there is a slot there that will just peg into this hand now i tend to have more difficulties with this than i do with the mace it, the functionality is extremely similar you just want to try and close the fist round whilst having that pegged in collapse the thumb and there you've got the mace secured in the hand it's definitely as you can see not as a secure connection as the mace the wrecking ball is definitely a lot more difficult to get securely pegged into the figure but it is possible with a bit of maneuvering and as you can see it is articulated in a variety of different ways so if you do really clean into the hand I'm pretty sure you could probably get some really cool poses however it is a shame that just on my copy it is fairly loose and doesn't really want to hold in there but without pegging that peg in it does hold in there fairly securely but it's definitely not as a secure connection as it could be now turning to weapon storage in the robot mode it is very similar to how all the weapons kind of store in the dinosaur mode it was all to do with these pegs so as you can see there is a slot here that will plug onto this piece of the mace just push that section in like so and you can obviously just maneuver that up to make the joint more compact rather than having the wrecking ball spraying over to the side and the same for the dinosaur tail it does just peg in like so and then once they've all combined you can then turn the figure around and this slot here will plug straight into the back of Grimlock's back. And that is all of the weapons accumulated onto Grimlock's back. An extremely exaggerated type of weapon storage. It's definitely not what I'll display, but that is how you integrate all of the weapons onto his back. I personally just prefer to store the mace weapon if I'm going to store any of them, as that is what we saw in the movie. So to do so, just flip the mace around, plug it into his back, and there you've got weapon storage for the mace in the robot mode. So there you have it. That's my review on the DNA Designs DK06 Studio Series Grimlock upgrade kit. Personally, I think that it is a nice addition to this figure as it does definitely amplify the overall aesthetic of the dinosaur mode and the additional weapons that you can utilize in the robot mode is definitely an extremely nice touch. I'm extremely glad that we finally have Grimlock with his movie accurate mace and I'm extremely happy that DNA Designs have managed to capture and replicate the exact same paint that was seen on the Grimlock figure 
onto their upgrade kit just to make the overall look a lot more cohesive. Personally, I do give this kit at the thumbs up. I do think that it is definitely a very nice upgrade kit, but personally, I do think that it does take the overall playability of this figure down just due to the way that it does in fact parts form. You know, you do have to pull off the towel when transforming it into the robot mode. The weapons don't always secure as tightly as I would have perhaps liked them to. I do prefer that they would have just made the fingers much like how they did with the original version and just had the top of the mace pull off so you could just slide the pole up pop the top of the mace on so that that was a secure connection as these articulated fingers do not always tend to hold the weapons in the best as you can see this one here is just spraining around and i've tried countless times to get this to lock into place i hope that you enjoyed this review if you did please let me know down in the comment section below and until my next review i'll see you then thanks for watching